Not all creatures possess the endearing and charming qualities that make them universally lovable. In fact, some animals are distinctly peculiar, leaving us feeling a bit uneasy when it comes to snuggling up with them. It's not about body shaming, but rather acknowledging that certain animals have an appearance that can be quite unsettling. Here are eight examples of nature's most extraordinary looking creatures, showcasing their truly unique and odd features. Number eight, the red-lipped batfish. Now I can tell that you've been missing the odd looking sea creatures, so I'll give you one that's really worth a look, at least for a few moments. The next creature is one that was found in the Gala Galapagos, which many of you will know is a haven for all types of life. The red-lipped batfish walks instead of swims, and when you actually gaze upon it, oh yeah, it's very weird as the name would suggest, the batfish has bright, almost fluorescent red lips, looking as though it's recently eaten the bloody meal or perhaps is wearing some very bright lipstick and puckering up for a kiss. You've all heard the phrase, that's like putting lipstick on a pig, right? Well, this is an aquatic version of that joke in a way. Easily, the most mysterious and odd-looking thing about the creature is that the batfish literally walks underwater via its fins instead of swimming. Now granted, there are all kinds of methods of swimming, and many of them do look odd, but at least that you know, swimming, this is a fish that walks and doesn't seem to mind it. What's more, it's very adept at how it uses its legs, for example, it doesn't just walk with them. It actually will use the legs to perch itself upon various items so that it can get a better view of the surroundings itself. I'll give it points for creativity on that one I mean after all. You need to be creative in the ocean to survive its streets. Right. If you're hoping that I'll give you an explanation about the lips, well, you can put that one on a list of things that you're going to be waiting for a long time because it'll be getting longer as the video goes on. Number 7. Glass Frog Remember when I talked about a handful of creatures that can make their bodies transparent? The glass frog is one of them, and while it's not 100% accurate to its name, it's still accurate enough to paint a picture specifically. As you look at these pictures of the frog, you'll think that it's not transparent at all as you can easily see inside of it due to its coloring. What's more, it can come in a variety of colors, thus proving that it's not just reflecting its environment. But that's because you're looking at the top and the side of the frog, the abdominal skin of some members of this family of frog is actually transparent and translucent. The internal viscera, including the heart, liver, and gastrointestinal tract, are all visible through the skin. And if you look at the right frog, you're going to see exactly that. That being said, people are willing to admit that glass frog is not accurate, because at times their skin is more translucent than it is transparent. But that doesn't mean it's not an odd-looking frog because it absolutely is. However, that oddness can also serve a purpose when carried out in the right way. You know where I'm going with this. If you remember biology class, where you had to dissect a frog to see how it all ticked. Well, with these frogs, you wouldn't have to do that. You just need to flip them over so that you could look at their bellies and you would see all the organs that you needed to. Sometimes nature just provides what you need and it gets you out of a gross situation. Number six, panda ant. When you hear the name panda ant, you may be thinking of a fusion between two creatures that were named before, but don't be so easily swayed. Naming animals is not always what you think it is, and if you don't believe me, well the joke's on you because this is not a panda or an ant. It's actually a wasp, one that you'll definitely want to stay. This species belongs to a family of wasps that actually features over 3,000 species within it. The fact that there are thousands of wasps in one single family is horrifying. And these particular wasps have very unique females in terms of their looks and abilities. For example, they're actually wingless, hence why some of them have called them ants and not wasps I mean, after all. You're used to wasps flying around and chasing after you to sting you, right? Well, these ones can't do that. That being said, they do have a fur coat of swords, one that's black and white. Just like a panda, that's the other reason, it's got its not-so-accurate name. However, you will remember that I said that these things are dangerous. That's because these wasps are known for their incredibly painful sting. Some even call them the cow killer. The other reasoning for their coloring is to serve as a warning. One that's meant for predators that might try to eat them. For now, we'll call this another unique evolution that you're not exactly sure how it came to be. 
but it does clearly work for them. Number 5. Japanese Spider Crab Crabs are odd-looking as a whole when you think about it. First, they come in a variety of shapes and sizes and colors, much to the delight of crab fishermen who make bank on such things. And secondly, their pinchers are quite distinctive, and some are powerful enough to crush birds and even smack open coconuts. But if you want the oddest looking out of the bunch, there can be only one. The Japanese spider crab is special because it honestly looks impossibly large when you see how spread out that its legs can get from end to end. This creature is found in the depths of the waters of Japan, hence how it gets its name. If that's not obvious, and it's so long due to its legs, that it can actually be up to 12 feet in length from one tip of the leg to the other that makes for a really big crab. Some of the first people who caught it would name it crab due to just how massive that it was, and I appreciate them going for the obvious name in this case. Plus to them, it must have seemed like an actual monster from the movies come to life. The catch, no pun intended, is that you won't find this crab waddling around on the beach like other crab species. The Japanese spider crab can rest in spots almost 2,000 feet below sea level, or it can be really close to the surface at about 160 feet but again, it's only in Japanese waters, mainly in places like Tokyo Bay and Kagoshima Prefecture. Number 4. Honduran White Bat Bats are fascinating creatures, and they of course have inspired one of the greatest heroes that the world has ever known. But I digress when you think about a bat, most of you will picture a big black-winged terror of the night. Some of you may actually erroneously think of blood-sucking entities, but those don't exist. Either way, the last thing that you may picture is a small white-orange-tipped bat that you could fit into the palm of your hand. And now, I'm not talking about a baby bat, I'm talking about a Honduran white bat. These bats are so small that at their maximum, they're only about 2 inches long. Their ears, face, nose, and parts of their legs and wings are all bright orange, and almost no hair grows on their black wings. So, they basically look like no bat that you've ever seen before, and that makes them perfect for this list. Plus, as noted, the nose comes off of the bat's body, and that technically puts it in the leaf nose bat category. Honduran and white bats live only in the lowland rainforest of eastern Honduras, northern Nicaragua, eastern Costa Rica, and western Panama. They find a very specific plant and then get them to fold in on themselves to make a place where the bat can live, either by itself or with others and yes, they literally make a tent, one that's off the ground and then they live in it. Number 3. The Sega Antelope The Sega Antelope is a creature that's so rare that it's on the critically endangered species list. Their numbers have plummeted due to hunting, and they went from having multiple habitats to only having just a few that's pretty bad. It's very bad indeed. That means that should another one of these places go bust, they're on the verge of going extinct, you'll find them in southwestern Russia, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and other places these days. But they used to be widespread all throughout Asia and Europe. The most outstanding feature about this thing is its swollen snout, which it uses to warm up the air that it breathes in so that it can stay comfortable. But to our eyes, they just simply look weird and you might even think that they're fake or photoshopped because of the way that they look. Number 2. Atratacoana The snake known as Atratacoana has another name. It's a name that I'm only going to say once and only once you got that. The other name for this snake, the floppy snakes, yeah really, I'm not making it up, and one look at the thing, and you're going to see why people are more than content with calling it that. I mean, do people just not have any integrity anymore? Here's the twist though, is that despite its name, it's not actually a snake its species is a group of limbless serpentine amphibians that are snake-like in appearance, but have rings like a certain earthworm not exactly what you would be expecting. In fact, it's twice the size of the entity that is the second largest in its species, and look, I'm not going to pretend to fully understand the world and everything that goes on in it, I just sit here and run my mouth all day. However. This is an animal that I don't really need to know ever existed. Number 1. Mata Mata Turtle Next up, we have the Matata Turtle. Then you may think that it's a turtle that can't be odd-looking. But you haven't seen this one yet, both in terms of what it is and what it does. The appearance of the turtle's shell resembles a piece of bark and its head resembles fallen leaves. 
meaning that it's very clever with its camouflage. It'll be motionless in the water, and its skin flaps enable it to blend into its surrounding vegetation until a fish comes in that it wants to eat. And when the prey does come into range, it's going to extend its head, open its mouth, and then create a vacuum that sucks it in in all of its rage. Yes, it's a creature that's known how to blend in and have its own superpowers you just thought that it was a turtle that wouldn't be exciting for shame. Which of them do you think is the oddest of the bunch, and which ones do you feel are not as odd as they're made out to be? Are there any other animals that would fit perfectly onto this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.